morning. Although we are waiting for everybody to see us. Am I up, Steve? No, Mr. Yeah, you'll be up. Yep, I'm up. Yeah. Okay, cool. There you are. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to WWC Phoenix uh, and Mod Remart in Life. Um, how are we doing, everybody? Good morning to RG Trains, Dave Martin, um, Shuggy Shuggy. Uh, it's back on tour. How are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> welcome all. Yeah, welcome all. Uh, Welcome all everybody, like I said. Right, okay, so today's live, um, yeah, it's a, it's a big one today, right? Um, I've done one before. Um, no sound, Martin. No sound. Can you knock on your me? No, I can't hear you either. Oh, right. Okay, bear with me. I don't know how I should have done. It's a, it's a big one today, right? Um, Can you hear me now? I've done one before. Um, There's a lag. Right, okay, we haven't got sound. Right, sorry guys, bear with me two seconds because this is technical and I have no idea. Uh, I've got sound here. Right, okay, so everybody's, so, okay, so, can you hear me, can you see me? Hello, Brian, good God, nice to speak to you, sir. Sounds okay. I can hear you, sounds okay, but, right, okay, so, um, sounds okay, okay, so, who, oh, um, Right, okay, so we, we should be working. So turn your mics on. Or turn your dirty work on. They are great. Phew, not me. Thank you. Because <laughs> then that happened, I was like, stop. We'll start again and try and find out. Anyway, right, um, I need to look up there, not earlier. Uh, right, okay, so, uh, yeah, welcome all, everybody. Andy, oh, Andy Hudson's in. Yeah, uh, Brian, yeah, we used to score years ago now, doing their um, uh, Modern Martin Live on In My House. Wow, there's a, there's some time ago. That is some time ago. Yeah, um, brilliant. You know, I mean, and Brian used to be on there then. You know, what I mean, so in Australia, I think it's about what seven o'clock out there now. Well, maybe later than that. Yeah, it's an, it's evening for you, isn't it, Brian? Something like that. Anyway, okay. So uh, I think we got sound and we got um, uh, uh, and video, which is great. Uh, right. Okay. So water pouring. Um, I've done a little diorama. I knocked it up over uh, uh, over the last couple of days. Yeah, um, uh, and I'll explain what I've done on there to show you. Just to you know, I mean, uh, what I've done with the diorama and uh, you know why you don't need to seal it or seal it and that all of that. Blah blah blah. Right? Okay. Uh, last time I did a diorama was uh, a water diorama live. If you all remember, it was the eagle diorama. Yeah, um, which is quite intense, quite a big one. Yeah, it was quite that that work out with that that much deep water. Uh, we had fish in there, and the eagle was coming out of it, and all sorts of things. So um, it, it was quite intense, um, and that was live on camera as well. Um, but I just want to show you guys that how simple water can be, so and not to be afraid of it. Um, uh, so I'll, I'll go through the actions, and I'll go through uh, uh, how things, are, uh, how you dam stuff up. Um, you know, I mean, there's there's way, different techniques that you can do, which is um, I'm going to use that. Yeah. To dam up the mine because it's such a small area we don't really need a big uh we don't need a big stiff dam you know what i mean so well, i'm hoping so anyway you know what i mean i'm trying it out i've done it before i'm not going to put loads of water in there it's just going to just cover the top so it shouldn't bow out a bit but if it does we can sand it back a little bit of sanding back if i need to but um no it but it should be uh, uh it should be okay uh, i'm just going to go down uh everyone can hear me okay um Get the magic for you go out here uh, at 7 p.m. Well, oh, I was right, look, 7 p.m. Boom, I, that was a total and utter guess. That was a well chuffle, that one. Morning, Craig. Lovely, excellent. Yeah, great. Thanks for everybody joining. Um, do you know how many we got in, Steve? Yeah, we do. We have 26 in at the moment. Oh, fabulous. So, well, as soon as you mention water, you whoosh, you get lots of people in. There should be more, John. And yeah, we'll either make more people walk, uh, walk Oh, I can see it down there, actually. Yeah. I just see it now. Um, we will have more people joining later on, or you can watch it later on. We'll make sure that we put it out everywhere on the on the social media that we got as well. So yeah, so the dioramas, you know, what I mean, um, I just want to show people not to be worried about uh, using deep cast water. Um, you know, I mean, I've used it a couple of times. Uh, I'm still getting used to it. Yeah, you know, what I mean, um, 
that the key is is to make sure that you uh, you get your levels right uh, but uh, and also your dams yeah if that that's the thing is your dams um, a lot of people will want to color their uh, their resin um, I hate doing that I'd rather use the bottom the base of the of the riverbed or unless you're doing a canal uh, which is it's in brown in it the canal is brown full stop and it's got so much rotten matter and it's slow slow moving uh, um, water so it doesn't filter through so that'll be brown you put it in I mean and you can use uh, acrylics you can use you can buy expensive uh, ones that they say that is you know I mean color tints for for the water um, I, acrylic paint I'm pretty sure you can use yeah you know and I, I think I've used acrylic paint just to put a blue tiny blue tint into it but like I said, I I keep mine clear now. I you know I mean I love my stuff clear because it's um excuse me I don't want to switch that off otherwise it'll be pinging off all, all the time. Um, I use mine uh, clear like I said because I can't find the thing noise there because uh, it enhances the base of the uh, of what you put underneath. Um, and I love to see that. Like I said, I like to put fish in mine, and I'm not doing this one because I, I have none printed off, but. You know what I mean? I want to see what's going on uh, underneath, uh, in, you know what I mean, in, on the riverbed. Uh, and there, that way then, it, it, and what it seems to do is it enhances that, what it really brings out that, uh, that, that feature. So if you're doing a diorama of it, especially on a layout, you want the, you know I mean, yes, it's lovely to see the, uh, the embankments and the greens and the, and, the, and, the, and the stone. Yeah, but also you want to see the, the, that, that feature that you've done, you using water, use it for what it's for, to, to, to make it attractive, to make it look wow, yeah, you know what I mean? Because uh, some people, when you put it in the canal, or, or if you tint it down, then yeah, you know what I mean? If it's a canal, yeah, it's brown, you can't do anything about it, I know, so you put the features in, but then you only need like a, a couple of mil of it anyway, you don't want it a deep like that, because you're wasting, wasting resin, because you just want to represent. But if you do any river scene, then you want to see the base. You want to see what's going on. Uh, a brown due to tanning. Okay, apparently washed down from the hills according to it. Yeah, okay, you know what I mean? But you still got to have some clear water somewhere because it will filter through. Yeah, you know what I mean? So uh, it, it'll always, if it's a, if it's a running river, it will, it, it should um, clear up. But then again, it's Yorkshire, so we don't know. In Wales, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I forgot that. Hands up on that one. Yeah, it's Yorkshire. <laughs> yeah, you know what I mean? Do it for Yorkshire. Yeah, no, sorry. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, I'm going to get in trouble about that one now. Um, but yeah, so, you're in Wales, it filters through. You know what I mean? It's, uh, it, it, we've got the best water in the world, you know what I mean? Yeah, well, we, we give it to you lot, so. <laughs> so, yeah, so... Um, <clears throat> <clears throat> That's what I'm going to try and sort of sort of go through. Any questions? Obviously, uh, ask away. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to just flick to a, a camera now. Um, that one. Okay. So there's sort of you can see me in the corner. Ooh, yeah. You know what I mean a little bit up in the corner. Right. Um, you got. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, so there's the basics of what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay. Right. What what do you really need around here. Right. Okay. Um, like I said, there's the tape I'm going to do to dam up here, right? So you can see the diorama I got by here, right? Okay, and I'll explain a little bit about what I've done there and how I've built it up to that stage, right? Okay, uh, it only took me, it probably took me about three hours, four hours to make, right? I mean, but over the uh, over two days because of the drying times, right? Um, uh, there's the deep cast, yeah. So there's the resin and there's the the hardener. We got a uh, a cup and stirrer, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's just like a tongue depressing stirrer, or whatever. Got those big lollipop sticks and the weighing scales, yeah. You know, I mean, and uh, um, so we can uh, weigh it out, and make sure that we get the proper uh, uh, proper um, measurements in there, right? Okay. So on the website, there is a link that I have put into onto the onto the uh, the post already, right? Okay. Uh, that. Um, uh, so you can click on that, and on there then there is a uh, um, a calculator on there that can calculate how much uh, you're going to use, right? I'm going to do a I'm going to do a, um, a a typical lazy modelers thing and guesstimate it. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. I reckon that's going to be about 40, 50 grams, and we'll guess from it there, right? Okay, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll 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 have a go. Uh, we'll have a go, right? So um, so I'll just move them out of the way, right? So we can concentrate a little bit more on the. 
bring them back in when I need them, right? Okay. So here's the model that I did, right? Okay. Um, it's just one of our modeling boards, right? Okay. There's the WWE Phoenix modeling board here. Uh, uh, I don't know how big it is, right? It's that that big, yeah. You know, I mean, gig, 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 big, right? Okay. Um, uh, so I've what I did then I got uh, our, some modeling form, right? Okay. So you can see it. I'm going to hold it up to the camera now. Yeah. I'm on that. I don't know which camera. Is. That one? Yeah. So uh, you can see the modeling form there. Okay, right, I've left it raw so I can show you. Right, okay, there's the, I'm trying to get the things. Yeah, there it is there. Okay, so I've just glued a few of them together, right, okay, um, to get that, I just cut some squares out, left it squares and just glued them on, right, so I used our basing glue, glued it all onto the onto the baseboard, left that dry. Yeah, I then carved then, yeah, using, I just used a, an ordinary uh, box cutting knife, yeah, right, okay, and just sort of carved rough just roughly the, the the foam board okay right um and then i used our fiber mold okay right just slapped it on get it on i put it onto here as well right okay um and just slapped it on just do it and let it dry right I, I let it dry, i let it go hard i should say yeah and then i just put i you started using vallejo uh paints Excuse me. I used London grey for the for the base of the colour, right? Which is nice and dark. It's a dark grey, but it's got a blue tint to it as well, right? Because some people will paint slate or stone or that or this type of colour, yeah, in a grey, right? Where with a with a slaty type or this type of stone that I wanted, you want a blue tint into it because it brings out the um, it it sort of stands out better. Uh, you can see clearly that you know I mean it, it looks pretty real you know what I mean um, unless anybody else says otherwise you know what I mean so uh, A4 yeah that's an A4 thank you Andy yeah right okay so um, yeah how do you know it was A4 uh, it's a Pico Rapsy you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> he knows it all right anyway so uh, well it's not hard is it A4 now I'm thinking about it but still yeah yeah but you, you know what I mean you, you, you can yeah well done Anyway, so yeah, so I let the mod drop down and then went, went like I said, with a dark grey. Yeah, you know what I mean? Um, I then put a, uh, I'm not using Vallejo, I got Vallejo on, on one day. So, so anyway, going off that quickly, one day what I'm going to do is set the cameras up wide, yeah, in, in the room, uh, and they're going to have a day in life with me, right? You know what I mean? So um, I'll, it'll be, it won't be streamed live, right? It'll be um, because I, we can't stream things live. Uh, well, we've got to be make sure that it's properly structured otherwise people come bursting in here and screaming swearing and all sorts of things mainly Steve <laughs> in the corner over there right so Steve has helped me out today right so any questions that he's got to pop through he'll shout out about it right so you'll hear him uh, if some of you were up in Scotland yeah he, Bonnie Scotland yeah that was Steve he came he came with us up there and uh, we're in the NEC at the end of this month uh, Steve's going to be with, with us then as well so Yay! <laughs> it's a hard weekend. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so we're gonna set up. I'm gonna set up the cameras, and um, you know, I mean, and I'll it'll be recorded uh, and sort of timelined um, as well. Not timelined, um, uh, whatever it's called. You know, I mean, uh, streaming, whatever it is. Yeah, so it's it's fast. Yeah, fast video, uh, and then you can see um, uh, do a day in the life of me. You know, I mean, so I don't do a lot. I just sit here and think, but I'll do some modeling some painting and that type of thing as well to make it interesting as well so um uh i'm going to go through some comments in a bit as well just to just to because uh, otherwise it'll be a five minute thing and we won't have a good chat anyway don't we uh so uh so yeah so here's a vallejo uh dark dark vallejo um london gray like i said then i used a black wash which was um uh a vallejo again yeah the book just a black wash just literally washed it over yeah, I used a hair dryer then to dry it, it's get it into the recesses and dry it out. And you can see some dark spots here, you know what I mean? It's picked up, it's quite nice. Yeah, it's lovely how it does, you know what I mean? In there, uh, lovely, you know what I mean? So it's really it contrasted now. Uh, and then I used a, I think it was a, it's a light grey, it's a stone grey, light, um, fortress grey, I think it is, right? I'm not sure, something like that, anyway, right? Uh, and that was dry brushed, okay, right? You know what I mean? Slapped it on. I got some lighter areas here that I, you know, I could think mm, I, I like to darken that down a bit. But again, I just thought, right, look, it's just for the, it's for that, the main thing. But there, 
Yeah, you know what I mean? So that, that river bed there, okay? I'm not gonna put anything on top. And normally I put our uh, clear water on top then as well to do rapids, but I don't want to. I want to keep it, to sh this is just purely to show off. Um, <laughs> Martin does a school working day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shut up, Andy. I'm in at eight, then half the seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like <laughs> school working day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're not supposed to tell secrets. <laughs> uh, and then, um, yeah, so uh, I see you throw me now. I don't want to work So, yeah, only just the water by there, right? You know what I mean? So, I'm, I'm not going to do rapids and run because I want to show off. Uh, what what water can do, yeah? you know what I mean? It can be <laughs> Steve jumping on it now as well. Like, you know what I mean? No, oh, I've started him off now, haven't you? Right? you know I, mean? um, I just want to, I just yeah, I want to show off uh, what the water can do. Everybody's water is pretty much the same. Yeah, if it's a two-part epoxy resin, yeah, you know what I mean. So I just, but I want to show off what I was going to do, right? Okay. Um, time for a quick slurp of coffee because my throat's getting a bit dry. So cheers. And then before I go back to well ask again, I'm going to scroll up a bit. Uh, oh, he's going to dive at Yorkshire now, folks. <laughs> so that's my head. Hey, up, hey, up, hey, up, man. My my dad's from Man. My stepdad's from Mansfield, sir. So. Hey, up. So, oh, it's not Yorkshire. I know it's not Newshire, but still, uh, up north. It's called up north. At the nerve racking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so yeah the tape it should hold i have done it it's not a big um a big area you know i mean i'm trying it if you know when i am gonna just not that's just gonna be a bit of tape i am gonna put sort of like strengtheners in yeah you know what i mean so it's gonna it, it'll be stiff and i'll try and get it uh well i'll show you the technique in a bit anyway you know what i mean so uh just go straight through morning swearing surely not yeah yeah Stan, why Martin, everyone in the chat, I know Stan all that, lovely, uh, morning, my real name is Mark, hello Mark, lovely to meet you Mark, Martin does a school working day, oh yeah, you follow it, so what I'm going to do, you do Ardy, you've got a day off today, you cheek, Martin now does the resin deal with uh, expanding foam base, uh, so, um, expanding the EXP, it, it, uh, that's just normal, um, just normal form that isn't it normal um, a, a, a XPS form is, um, it, 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 is if, that, if that's a tight form like uh, insulation then it's fine yeah you know I mean? don't forget you're gonna you, you should always cover that form yeah you know I mean it it, it, um, it does get warm and if you do don't get the mixtures right it will get hot right so that might burn through the form so what I got on here, I got the mod, uh, the um, our modeling fiber over the on top of it. I've also got, I mean, it's just going on to MDF, but there's, there's paint on there, there's glue on there, there's you know, I mean, there's quite a lot of uh, quite a lot of base material on the bottom there, so that that's covered as well. I suppose if you're doing no, you'd have to. I would, I would, I would definitely have some sort of sealer over it first. It's to say you know, it's an extruded polystyrene. It's a high-performing, rigid foam insulation board. Right, okay, yeah. So it's and it keeps moisture out, so it's really tight and hard. Yeah, they want. Okay, so it's exactly the same form, yeah. pretty much, as what I've got here. Right? This is modeling form. This is the stuff that they use for um, sculpting out a car. Yeah, so I know this, the, 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 the guys that sculpt out a real life-size car. This is the exact same thing. Yeah, but, but, and, and yours is all, it's, it's as tight as that, right? Because you can sculpt it, sand it, and work out. So it should be fine to go straight onto it, but I would not risk it if you've got, you know, because you've got, it does get warm. Yeah, you know what I mean? I don't think it necessarily reacts to the, work or what shrinks it down. I'll, I'll do some tests actually, you know what I mean? Well, actually, we'll, I, there's a bit over there. Once I've finished it, I've put a little dab on there and, and, and I'll see how it does, you know what I mean? And what I can report back, right? You know, I'll get Steve to snap a little bit, or there's a little bit thing by there anyway, right? But pretty much i think you know i mean i would see that i would definitely put a plaster or something like that over it right okay and then what you sh what it does recommend to do right um if you're going straight from that is that you do a uh a, a primer base i know anybody who saw um peaks 47 sam 
Yeah, he's he got a video out there years ago. I know, you know what I mean, but he's there, right? Obviously, I'm going to say Sam. There's uh, you do a, a sort of a like a one mil really really fine coat the day before or two days before. Yeah, so you get that um, uh, you get that seal that primer first. Yeah, right, and then then you go your big pour. Okay. Again, all depends how thick you go in. I mean, I'd gone up to, you know what I mean, that thick. That, if I, let me go to camera three so you can see it. Yeah, I went up to that thickness there. Yeah, on the diorama straight off, on the eagle diorama straight off. There's a lot of water that's being put into there, right? A lot of water. So there's a lot of weight. And we had MDF all around it, you know what I mean, to make sure that it didn't it didn't leak. But it still leaked, right? You know what I mean? But uh, there's a lot of water. But, you know what I mean, this one I'm only going to be putting it in a minute slither about three three four mil if that yeah right okay i mean not about two three mil shake something like that right so again you know i mean the weight and that type of thing should be okay right but i truthfully i would make sure that i would seal it first yeah okay hopefully that answers that one uh just going through what does the school work where the chicken will put it i think i have you need to do a full day like me <laughs> Craig, are you working today? You know what I mean? uh, work, work, yeah, he takes a mickey, right? He works less. He works less than Father Christmas. <laughs> right? yeah, you know what I mean? And Father Christmas only works one day. Uh, any sharks today? No sharks today. No, it's not going to be thick enough, right? So again, yeah, you know what I mean. I've, I've got, you know, he's, he I've got fish in the, in in the eagle diorama, right? You know what I mean. And again, that's easy to do. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll do a post. Um, maybe I'll do a small, little, tiny little diorama like that, right? Okay, so let me go back to a different shot. Um, excuse me, while I mess around. Am I up here now? Yeah, I'm up that one now. So I'm a different angle again. Um, and maybe I'll do a small little diorama just to show you, you know what I mean, and, and build up the resin. So what you can do is you build the resin up. You go to, I wouldn't go more than what I showed you before, which is that the thickness, yeah. Leave it go off and then put another one on top and then leave that go off. So you can build up the, build it up to, you know what I mean, a, a good thickness, you know what I mean, but not straight off. You've got to build it up slowly, yeah, over days. I mean, it takes a good 48 hours, if not longer, 72 hours to totally and utterly cure. Yeah, but then once you've totally, once it's cured, it's done. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it's one of them, but so, um, RGG trains, yeah, Grace or, uh, or, uh, or Rob, is it? I, yes, sorry. Rob. Yeah, Rob, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, Rob, right, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, yeah, it's one, or oh, these are on the, on the thing or maybe I'll get a, a, a link post to them on uh, on the group as well on sorry on this chat later on as well uh, coffee's not good for a dry throat Yorkshire tea needed no <laughs> oh. Oh, it, it, you're, you're not even from Yorkshire <laughs> Dave you're in London you are <laughs> soft southern softy <laughs> ah, anyway so uh, oh, hang on Steve he works me seven days a week yeah uh, yeah work I, I work on it it's still a long base, it could be joined together. Yeah, uh, standalone. This one is uh, made. Uh, SPM sheets form is used. Uh, uh, sheets you are using there. Yeah, it's well, this is actually this is bought as modeling form, but yeah, it is you know, I mean, it is uh, an installation. Rob, write down what Martin says. Yeah, installation form. Thanks for the answer, mate. Uh, it'll be a first, yeah, they are brilliant. I love the rocks. Yeah, rocks are, you know what I mean? Again, this, the, I'll tell you what that is in a bit. Work on it. I'm sort of going through quickly. With, oh, hello, Rob. Uh, hey, Rob and Grace. Yeah, well, uh, Rob, right down everyone says. Uh, only for another hour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, and then where are you going, Craig? Yeah, you, 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 you're finishing today. And then you're, you're going somewhere, aren't you? You know what I mean? For a, for a while. Uh, that's how you trust me. Play in the back with one floor. Need to be run, run faster, yeah. Uh, we're both here, can't we? Yeah, typing excellent, yeah, brilliant. Uh, Aussie beer for the throat, yeah, uh, yeah, ooh. Aussie beer, yeah. <laughs> Enough said on that one. <laughs> okay, right, okay, nothing wrong with Yorkshire tea. I don't drink tea. The only time I ever drink tea, and I'm going on a tangent here, is when I'm going to be ill. Yeah, and if I think, well, I, I, well, I fancy a cup of tea, I know the next day that I'm going to be really ill. Stupid, isn't it? 
I, I, you know what I mean? So that must have been a, a squaddy thing or something like that. So, uh, but yeah, uh, but I got my trusty old cup. I, you can see it's battered. Yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely battered. But I, it's my trusty old cup and keeps my coffee warm for hours, which is lovely. Right. Uh, that's a little, yeah, but when, right, okay. Yeah, okay, so the uh, PG tips, Ross, that's it. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? If you want to call it uh, two hours tomorrow, next week, uh, Venice, then a cruise around Croatia. Oh, God. Hard life. Yeah, that's probably his 10th cruise today. Uh, uh, Steve's gone and left me. So, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, right, okay, so going back on to, uh, like, the model, uh, the, 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 the model, yeah, I'm keeping you hanging on, right, you know, because I'm trying to pad it out for an hour, you know what I mean, so, to, to keep you going. <laughs> Obviously, I got it. Once I've done it, I need to leave it the, on a on a flat place, uh, in, in I mean, so that it doesn't, for obvious reasons. Well, we need uh, well, we need to do the uh, uh, drink mugs. Okay. We got them. We got mugs here somewhere. I, 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 they're probably not even listed. I mean, but yeah, we got mugs. Um, if Steve was stayed here, I could have showed you, but we have got mugs. Um, I got a load of them, but I just, they're not selling. We used to take them to the shows, but uh, we, we stopped doing that. Maybe I need to start doing more merch. Yeah, you know, I mean, getting some uh, um, t-shirts and stuff out as well, like uh, and a bridge of doom. I knew it was a, it was a trend. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, but yeah. So uh, the grass I've used. Um, that's the only four mil I've used on the other rest of it. There's two mil because uh, I want to keep it nice and tight. Uh, and I've just, I just I didn't like it at first, but I just seen some lovely little area by there, lovely tufts by there. You need a, 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 a shop in Denmark, or at least a shop that sells your products. Yeah, we are uh, actually we are working on it. To be honest, we are uh, we're trying to get a, a couple of distributors up there. To be honest, so yeah, uh, I might be going. Um, well, in August, I know I'm coming out um, Netherlands. Denmark, uh, Netherlands and, and all areas and stuff like that, in, in Europe anyway, to have a chat around, so, you know what I mean, um, yeah, that's what I'm, you know, so we, we are working on it, yeah, well, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll get our products in Europe very shortly, um, uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, sorry, I just, I'm, and again, I'm pausing because my Sales manager just general run it. He's gonna make himself a cup of coffee anyway. Uh, so yeah, they're probably not on the website. They're not available at the moment. We've only got a, a handful left anyway. Right? I mean, you can buy them in the shop if you come down. Yeah, you know what I mean. So uh, uh, or I might take a couple of anybody says I want a couple. I'll take them to the shows. You know what I mean. But if you go to the shows, like I said, I mean the NEC uh, at the end of April and the beginning of uh, May. Then we are in Br uh, Bristol. Yeah, Thorn, Thorn Breeze, is it? Thorn Breeze, somebody got I can't remember. I have a great shop in Copenhagen. Just need a bit of convincing, Martin. Well, uh, uh, Gene, you need to get your, uh, your little kushta down there, there, mate, and say that, uh, you know what I mean? We're the best on the market. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, oh, yeah. Any chance you might get this stuff into Ireland? Uh, again, we'll. Uh, there's another area. That, there's a big, big. I've been told there's a big, big shop, massive shop. Um, that uh, uh, that might possibly. I need to go and visit and get it. Get it. Uh, if I can send a pallet, I'll get it out there. Yeah, you know. What I mean, as long as they they take it on as well. You know what I mean. So, yeah, fingers crossed. You know what I mean. We we can see it. Uh, Thirty five people watching. Awesome guys, you know, what I mean, I'm, I know I'm waffling, so like I said, I'm trying to pad it out a bit because literally it'd be like done, stir 10 minutes, pour it in, job done, finished. And then that because as soon as, it, as soon as I pour that into there, that's not a lot you can do until uh, until it cures, like, you know, what I mean, so it should cure overnight, yeah, but then it'll be, um, you know, I, mean, I won't remove anything until uh, you know, I mean, a, another, another two days. So the the grass I got on there like is two mil all the two mils apart from that one that, that that tall one there is let me just change that camera angle Did I, uh, five. Yeah, there we are. So that camera I'm now on that one. Yeah, okay. I don't even know my camera. It's brand new. See brand new setup 
that's four mil dead so that's the only four mil I use in it the rest then is um, two mil I've used two mil wild meadow no I haven't shut up I do <laughs> two mil spring <laughs> Yeah, two mil spring. Oh, he's got oh, he's got his own biscuits as well. Like, you can hear something munching in the background. He's got his own biscuits. Oh, you know what I mean? It makes himself a cup of coffee. It doesn't use a WWS mug, so I could show that you guys what a WWS mug looked like. And he's his own biscuits as well. Right, okay. Anyway. Right. So I've got two mil spring. I've used two mil North Euro and two mil Patchy. That's what I've used on there. Uh, on the base, right, I painted the base. Okay, this is where we get the, we, we seal in it now, right? So the base of, I painted, um, I used, oh, I can remember now, Terran Earth. This again, all Vallejo now, right, because that's all I got over the, on the other side, right? Vallejo, uh, uh, Terran Earth, with, on the lighter colours over there, which you can see a bit by there. Yeah, you know what I mean? Some by there. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and a little bit over there. Then I used smoke, right? Okay, I don't. I could give you the chords, but I can't be bothered to come get me on this. I mean, right? So then I used uh, a smoke, so it was a darker color again, right? So it's nice and again, you. I want that depth. So how I create depth within uh, within water is by painting from light to dark. Okay, yeah. So I paint light around here. Yeah. Then I start painting dark and darker and darker. And I wouldn't even go black into the deeper areas or really really dark brown right okay because that will give you that sense of depth that's what i've done on my other models with the blue yeah any blue colors that i've got you know i mean i'll paint a really light blue when i come into a, a darker color and maybe go into a darker green yeah that type of thing okay right uh okay so uh all right steve's doing his what i call it uh mark's models in in the main shop in ireland yes that's right place i can't find orders glues etc to deliver them to ireland yeah i hear dirt marks models rob uh rob is the same i always have you mentioned behind me <laughs> yeah in it yeah you know i mean the, you know what i mean the talent here yeah and you grace the talent and you've got idiots behind the camera <laughs> munching and, 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 and yeah making Stop themselves go, me. you know what i mean so yeah, I, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Uh, <laughs> um, can't get the help, Martin. Yeah, you know, you know I mean, uh, tell me deep is your best crack. Uh, Eleven o'clock break soon. <laughs> yeah, Eleven o'clock break. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Eleven's easy. You know I mean, naffy break. That's what it is. You should know what that was. Have we poured yet? Yeah. No, no, not ah. yet. Right. Okay, so uh, and then all I, I, I better yeah, like I said, I better crack on anyway, right? Okay, so and then so um, left the paint dry, yeah. Then I started uh, putting some basing glue down. I've used our coarse sand on here, right, which gives you the the rocks, yeah, that rocky look outlook, right? Okay, <clears throat> uh, and then I've got foliage, yeah. There's uh, there's algae on here. There's a uh, burnt and. I believe there's a little bit of olive on there as well, like coarse. So the algae's fine, yeah, and the rest is coarse, okay? It's because I wanted that look, right? Okay, that is it. We do not need to seal that at all. That will be sealed enough. That is good enough, okay? Right? Now, and now I'm going to start damming up, right? Okay? So first of all, right, I need to make sure this is flat. Now I can feel a little, I'm running my finger over here, right? That bit is lovely, and we're only going to go to there and to there. But here I can feel a bit of a foul, right? Okay, so it's sticking up, right? So, little the little craft knife, yeah, right? Okay, and all I'm doing is just keeping it flat, hold that there, yeah, keeping it flat, and just gonna go past it. If it's if, if it comes out, well, blend it off. Yeah, I can always what I need to do there. I can always um, repaint that bit anyway, right? Because I'm gonna. To paint all the coat edges black anyway right so thing and i just need to yeah that's good enough that's a good enough because again i'm not i'm not i'm only going to go a certain thing just to make sure i'm back enough a little bit more yeah so i exposed the the, the plaster by there right but again like i said i can touch up afterwards when the water paint when the water's done right okay so just move this out of the way oh actually i didn't show you guys there is, oh, I've done something now. Hang on, let me click off that. So there's our deep cast water, okay? Right, give me there. Yeah, that's our deep cast water, right? 
that's what you're looking for on the website. And on the website, like I said, is a calculator anyway. Right? Okay, so go back to shot. Uh, go back to number five. I'll do this edge. Make sure no, it's four, is it? Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm just making sure what camera I'm on. Okay, I'm, I'm feeling this one as well. There's a little bit sticking up there. So again, I'll t take this off. Okay, just so I can have a good flat edge. Again, get rid of that. Okay. Lovely. Okay, that's flat and that's flat. Okay, so I'm gonna swap, go back to another camera. Right, and then I'm gonna do, um, I'll, I'll dam it up. I'll show you what I'm doing as I'm damming up anyway, right? Okay, so. Okay, so we do need all that. Right, but I wanna put, uh, I'll put reinforcers behind it, but we want it nice and tight now, right? I've used tape before, I have, right, on a smaller diorama, a tiny little diorama, right, and it worked. I am praying, now I can still see a little bit of a foul there, right, so I'm going to take this all off. I really want that. Now I could have prepped this yesterday, but I wanted to show you guys that you know, I mean, this is how I do it, right? Okay, this is the thing. I mean, there's there's techniques out there. Uh, uh, people have said, you know, I mean, you can use a bit of acrylic, which is quite expensive. Yeah, you know, I mean, and um, uh, hot glue gun. Yeah, or I've used MDF and a hot glue gun, but it's a nightmare to get off, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna just, all I'm gonna do now is, make sure you guys can see it, is start to reinforce this area over here, okay? I've got the first bit on, I'm quite happy with that. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of reinforcement in there now, right? Just need to build that bit of tape up there and then we'll put a big one going across. And what I need to do is grab start sticking. Put it over there as well. Yeah, so you've got the sticky side there, but I want to stop. I don't want it to stick to it. Okay, so all I'm doing is just covering. Covering the sticky side. If I can get it. Just normal masking tape is this guy's right, there's not nothing special. Okay, right. Now it, it might look a bit of a faff. But trust me, right? If it works, and you've done it, and you've done it, you'll be thanking me if you've ever done, ever done it with hot glue gun and uh, MDF or acrylic because it's a nightmare to get off, right? A nightmare. So this way should be nice and easy. He says. The, the one I done before, you know what I mean? I done it with hot glue gun and I done it with tape. And the tape one was much easier to use. Like I said, and then we just keep reinforcing that a little bit more. Are you all still with me? Yeah. Yeah. All watching. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I, yeah, I'm pretty good with a knife. <coughs> I don't cut myself much. <laughs> Okay, and then I'm going to do a nice long one, so he says, just to make sure that we're all covered there as well. So it's going to be a bit of a nerve wracking doing this when we pour it, but hopefully, like I said, we're only going to pour. And if I do have a little bit of a leak, a bit of spillage. Uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll, a uh, little bit of a spillage, I'll, I'll cover it up in one tally. So. <laughs> uh, Okay, that's quite that's quite a good strong dam there. I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, you know what I mean. So I'll bring it up to the camera. Yeah, come up. Yeah, get it. Yeah, you can see pretty good sizable dam. Yeah, there as well. Okay, it is 
seal. I'm trying to get the right angles. It's a pain in this. Trust it, Martin. Trust it. Okay, I'm trusting that. Now this one, this side is a little bit wider. So, fingers crossed. Someone likes your bracelet. Ah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's my my. One. My gorgeous white. Oh, it's, nah, it's a load of nonsense in that, isn't it? It's, there is a magnetic in it, but I just like, you know, I mean, I just like the way it's that, to be fair. It's my, um, my gorgeous wife, Kath, bought it for me. Okay, just uh, talk amongst yourselves while I do this one. Steve will be uh, <laughs> So I'm going to do that bit there. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Stay dressing. <laughs> I'm going to pull that off. I just created a gap for that. little bit of extra strength. I can see a potential leak spot for there. Okay, I need to put a little bit of tape in there because to strengthen it and to stop it sticking. And there we go. That was a lucky shot. I tell you what I do need, Steve, my bag's down there. Can you Get my glasses out of there. I mean, that would help, wouldn't it? Don't you think? You can't see, well, you see a thing yet. I don't want to go in, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it's safe. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, so I now got my, put my specs on. Yeah, because I'm at that age now. Right now <laughs> so I can actually see. Okay, so yeah, well, we just, just like, same again now, just strengthen this now, right? Okay, I'm quite happy with that. It's going to be a good seal. I'll make double track, triple track. Yeah, the, 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 you know what I mean? It's the old cliche of uh, measure twice, yeah, you know what I mean? But where this one is double check, triple check, make sure everything is nice and tight. I'm just putting strength in this in order to make it a little bit more, a little stronger. Because again, like I keep saying to you, I'm not putting deep, it's not going deep, okay? It's only going to go a couple of mil. Right, come on then, Martin. Be brave. Come on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. We yeah, can, we do, can this. do it. Okay, we've got this. i got the mop ready. <laughs> yeah. We can do this. What do you reckon, guys? You reckon, should, we, should we go for it or what? Come yeah, on. I think so. I think we should go for it. I'm just having a quick check. Make sure we're all good. I'm not going that high anyway. There's a little bit for there that's annoying me. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Let's go do on. it. Right. Drum roll, please. There you go. Now then. Don't shake the, the, the... Do not shake any of this, right? Because you don't want the bubbles, right? Okay, you do not want the bubbles. Okay, so turn turn the uh, um, the scale on, and we're going to go for grams. Okay, right. So I'm going to be looking for. I've got grass all over this. I'm going to look for about oh, I don't know 50, 60 grams. Yeah, you know what I mean. So um, or 40 grams, which is 40 grams of this. Yeah, to 20 grams of that. Yeah, it's half and half. Okay, right. So sorry, it's uh, two to one, not half and half. Two to one. Right. And zero. Okay, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna pour in nice and gentle. Well, that's 42 grams, and that's nowhere near enough. So I'm gonna go for 100 grams. Actually, 60 grams. No, no, 100 grams. Do it, Martin. Ninety. 
three, one, three, four, slow down. I never get it right in the petrol station. I, I do it while I mess the juts in them. I do always go, like, if we put like 80 pound, I'll go 80 pound and a penny just to wind him up. And he goes, you never get it right. Nope. <laughs> 98. Come on, ninety nine. <laughs> I'm laughing. Don't make me laugh. One hundred. Right. Okay. So hundred hundred grams of that, and then we'll put fifty grams of the hardener. Yeah. So we're going for one hundred and fifty now. Yeah. Which is quite a lot, actually. I've probably overdone it. Oh, 49.50. Whoa, smack on. Look at that. Right. Okay. Now, this is where this is where I can now start talking to you guys and just, right? Because you are just going to start literally stirring like this. Nice and easy. Nice and slow. You've got, you've got a good half hour, I would say, if not more right before you even start worrying about it right so just get it or you, you're just stirring it gently because if you go too fast you're going to put bubbles into the into the more into the um into the resin already you just need to work really really slow how do you work out how much resin and hardener you need man uh like i said it's two to one right so it's two parts so two of that so if it's like 20 grams of that yeah it's 10 grams of that right okay on the website, like I said, there is a um, uh, there is a uh, a calculator on there that will work out how much resin you're going to need. Yeah, you know what I mean. And then you just work I'll out. Put the link up now. Yeah, and then you need to. Um, to ask. Steve will put the link up now. <coughs> and then you just need to um, halve that then to as much of uh, hardener you want. You know what I mean. But th this is where you need now to. Uh, I use a, a marked plastic cup. Uh, last time and then pour the content into a bigger cup rather than uh, using the scales. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? It, 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 well, I've got scales to hand. Right? What you have to do is make sure that you mix it properly. Okay? Yeah, good stir. Ge nice and gentle. Nice and stir. stir uh, that, what do I call it? Um, and, for, and for a long time. You know what I mean? Get it all mixed in. Now. Stay away from the crystal tape. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm Dark John. Pete, don't know what I mean. What's that, buddy? What is crystal tape? Can you elaborate a little bit more? Just so I, I know not to use it then. 40. Mm. Yeah, smart there, are Grace. Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Smash that down. Uh, like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. blah, 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 blah all that type of thing. Like, you know. Yeah. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm just, again, look, like really slow, guys, right? You know what I mean? There's there's lots of bubbles on there. Now, well, I haven't got one here, no, right? So I'm going to have bubbles in this, right? Okay. Um, but uh, it does say on the uh, on the website to use a blowtorch, yeah? And I'll, <laughs> it sounds, it does, see, yeah, Steve, Steve laughs. It sounds dramatic, right? But you know the little chef ones that you get, like, you know what I mean, for, um, uh, Oh, what do you call it? I can't remember what you call it. You know what I mean? For for burning of sugar and all that type of thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like little tiny little blow chops like that. You literally just go. Tick, 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 tick. Yeah, a tiny. If you see a bubble, the tiny little spark. It's all you need, right? Just a little something small, just a little bit of heat with it, like half a second, um, and it'll uh, what I call it. Uh, it'll burst that bubble, right? To get rid of that bubble. However, I haven't got one here because I'm taking it home. Use it there because I use it in the house cooking. Is a quick one, man. How long does it take to go off? Yeah. Okay. Well, so it'll uh, cure over twenty. Away, it'll, yeah, it'll cure over twenty-four hours. Right. Okay. So um, let me explain a little bit about why things take so long to go off. Right. Okay. Right. Um, on the shelf life of the resin, and we'll call it uh, again. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a good long a year or so. Right. Okay. As long as it's sealed. 
right? Okay, as long as you don't mix it together, obviously, as well. Like, you know what I mean? So it should be fine, right? Okay, uh, but why things take so long to go off, right? So PVA, right? You all know, right? Uh, if you don't know, right, you go bound to. You know that I am not an advocate for for PVA, right? I do not like PVA as a as a um, uh, as a modeling glue. It's horrific for 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 building materials. It's brilliant, right? Why is it horrific for modeling? Yeah, because it's rubber based, okay? And because it's rubber based, right? Um, once the water contact goes out, as you know, yeah, once the water contact is evaporated, it starts to shrink, okay, right? Um, and then obviously it peels, it pops, it shrinks off the board, right? Um, and the reason why they have it, because uh, it, 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 it goes off you know, really slow as well, right? Okay? And the reason why it goes off so slow is to try and stabilize the shrinkage, okay? right exactly same with resin right the reason why they let they they they, they um uh, uh they have a really slow cure time right so they have resin one doesn't heat up well right or overheat up right um or, or, what do you call it and then starts to crack or if it starts to uh, it starts to go off really sh really strong yeah right so really fast it will shrink and you know, I mean, uh, and because it's a solid thing, like, not like uh, like, like a, a glue, it's a solid block. Yeah, it could ruin your layout, which I think, uh, Pete, I used the wooden scenics melt in the pot <laughs> water about ten years ago on my own layout. Just died the sauce. For the <laughs> yeah, that, they are horrific stuff. That is, like, you know, I mean, so yeah, the gas power solar iron, uh, yeah, attached. Rather than uh, uh, making the wife blowtorch, <laughs> yeah, it's my blowtorch, Andy. Mine, uh, the good cat doesn't cook well, she does, but I cook do most of the cooking. So. Uh, I use a heat gun rather than a blowtorch, saves burning like static grass, yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, guys, brilliant tips, yeah, you know, what I mean, brilliant tips, right? Okay, you know, what I mean, you can on some of them, you can just use your breath. Yeah, you know what I mean. Some, I mean, obviously Steve's got. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> hot dragon the, breath. Hot, hot, yeah, dragon. <laughs> hot the breath. You know, you know. So you can see that. You know, I mean, it's a good one. Good five minutes so far that I'm I'm mixing. Just want to make sure that that it's because obviously this is runnier than than the resin. Yeah, and it, it needs to make sure that you mixed in properly. Right. Okay. That's the biggest thing. Right. And if the measurements are not bang on. Right. Okay. And I mean bang on. You get what is known, um, and I used to be a fiberglass laminator, right? And we used to do these on purpose just to have a bit of fun, right? But if you put more hardener in than, you, than you're supposed to, yeah, you get what's called a hot cup, uh, and it'll smoke, and I mean smoke, yeah? You know what I mean? Oh, I've got a hairdryer. We could use a hairdryer, actually. Steve, is, it, is it my hairdryer? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steve's hairdryer, yeah, you know what I mean? I got static grass in here as well. So it doesn't matter because again, it's going to be put onto that. I, I'm still a bit twitchy about these. Like, I mean, I'm hoping that they but you can get in front of us. Oh no! I got an air dryer. We'll try the air dryer. Right? Okay, so I just think I just switched it on as well. So I'm just about to have a face full of. Uh, yeah. okay. So we'll try the hair dryer, but again, it's going to have to be on low. I think, I suppose. So. Man, I gotta say that uh, your wrist action is fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know. I do apologise. You know I mean, it's uh, it, it, this. This is the bit that you have to make sure. Yeah, you know, I mean, you, could, you look right. Look, you know, I mean, the tape is a good idea just for this smaller bit. You know, right? Okay. Um, is it for? Is it going to be wise on a wide river or wide? No, I, I would suggest that you use the uh, the hot glue gun and uh, like a bit of MDF or acrylic or something like that right okay because that will uh, that will that, that's far fast it's stiffer it's stronger you know what I mean but I'm just using it this one for, for nice and quick to show you guys yeah also to show you that you can use other materials if you're going to do a small area um, so what we're looking at yeah, right, to make sure there is no swirls in the resin, okay, because that means then that it's all mixed in, nice and tidy. Yeah, and hopefully it's going to give you uh, the the the, uh, the confidence to do this, right? Okay, having a vindaloo. Yeah, uh, vindaloo. Vindaloo. Don't sing that. God. 
You're Welsh. It's better than it's coming home. No, <laughs> no. Shh. I just stirred that too rigorously then and put bubbles into it. Have a look. That's what we're going to uh, might do it, might work, might work. I got less work on. Right, okay, I reckon we're gonna go for it. And you know what? I reckon I haven't made enough. <laughs> so, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you that we can go on top and we can pour. Right, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of that, but I am gonna keep it, right? You want to keep this bit here with you, not bit here as well, right? Keep hold of it, right? Because you're gonna have to blend in the, the water. To the to the edges of the um, uh, river bank, right? Because it, it'll otherwise it domes, it domes like that, yeah. So you need to blend it in, okay? Right? I got some loose bits here as well. So, so all I'm gonna do is just cut, just nice and gentle, pour it in, right? Okay. Don't go nuts straight away, right? Because you just want to. You don't want to create bubbles, more unnecessary bubbles. Oh, here we go. Oh, actually, I think I've made more than enough. Ah, uh, see, you little thief. Excellent. So far, no leaks. Right, I'm just gonna. I've got some of the foliage just has come off and it's floating up, but I don't care about that because again, you'll have that happening anyway. Right. So what I'm doing now, now, what you need to do now yeah, is just sort of blend it off don't worry if it goes up over the top of, of, of your model because you'd have water oh, I just dripped water on the freaking glass up here now I'll cover that okay so all we're doing is just sort of just breaking the uh, surface tension yeah all right you're making sure that it doesn't look like it looks like it's water on the edge of the of a uh, of a river not cooling up if you know what I mean not not arching over okay so let me show you that's how much I got left in there a little, tiny little bit so I'm gonna put it in it will put the thing up uh, come up there right guys you've got to be careful as well because I just put water <laughs> my clumsiness Okay, now now what we're going to do is address the bubbles. And you know what? I got no leaks. Yeah, my it's, it's no leaking yet, but I guarantee you that. I won't guarantee you, I know it's not going to leak. We're not going to leak. We're not going to leak. Do you know why? I've got very little bubbles here as well. I'm trying to have a look. Let's see if I can get on to a different angle. Okay. Right. Are we working? There we are. You're not going to see. You've got All you're going to see is exactly the same thing as what uh, I had before because, but trust me, that is looking stunning. I'm just going to push the bubbles to the side. shifting it too much it, uh, it needs heat not blowy heat it needs instant heat is it shifting it too much but other than that guys right I think 
the edges we're gonna I'm gonna sand off anyway, right? So I'm not fussed about that. It's quite deep. It's about five mil deep, so I might be quite happy with that. That's quite nice. And there we go. That's creeping up a bit. So I'm creeping up there. I'm gonna put a bit of bit of No, that's fine. That's fine. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the dams are Dave, yeah, they the they are they the they can go just go. Wanna put it give us thirty minutes at the least for the leaks. Yeah, you gotta wait. You have Andy's right. Yeah, you've got to wait uh for a time because of it's a, it's a thick you know what I mean? It's it's a it's thicker than double cream, but I it's not going to leak. It's not going to leak at all because I've got so much tape around there as well. It's not going to leak. I, I'm I'm confident on that. But I'll come back uh, later on. I got a few meetings this afternoon or today, and then hopefully I'll come in tomorrow and it'll be spot on. It's it's not going to be the problem. I'm going to have is going to bubbles will, will will appear, and I'm not going to be here to to look after you. You're going to have to come. Keep coming back and forth to it, yeah, to, to make sure that you you know I mean you you're getting rid of your bubbles. Um, you've got a good few hours before it even starts to to solidify as well, and I mean or, or cure it off, I should say. But I'm just trying to push. I'm pushing the bubbles to one side. But there we go, guys. What do you think? Yeah. Blowy heat, <laughs> yeah, blowy heat, I suppose, though, yeah, gotta be blowy heat. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that that's it, right? Oh, well, you're gonna, you know, I mean, it's it, it is a massive impact on your, on, your, on your layout, like on your model, doing the water, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I know Andy. Um, Andy Hudson loves water. He's a he's really good at it. Yeah. So there's a few others. You know what I mean? So, uh, but you know what I mean? It's we're there. We're almost there. Yeah. You know what I mean? We just got to wait for now for it to dry. Yeah. Like I said, you can't see a lot on you know what I mean on, on camera. Unfortunately, it's I'll take it at shows. Like so, if any of you watching at shows, I mean, forty four people are watching it now, and hopefully a lot more people will watch it later on. I'll take it to shows and I can just I'll tell you then all you know I mean that's where the the bubbles and that type of thing and we can you can physically see what it's done what it's like but you can you can see where you know I mean how it's changed the bottom if you notice you can see you know I mean the you could see the brown coming through a lot better yeah you know I mean and it that that for me looks amazing I love it I love the locket mix, you know what I mean? You know I mean? That is a riverbed. You know and I mean? Where where you've got fast water, if you know what I mean? Which is nice and clean. I'm going to keep, keep an eye on both sides. Every now and then, just making sure that I'm, I'm close there. But it seems to be alright. Yeah. It seems to be alright. You We might have sort of sticky out the edges like that and that like that but you've always got to file them on anyway everybody tells you that you know i mean you, you sand them with a with a really fine sand uh wet and dry maybe that's good it's nice um uh, really fine and then you just put a little coat all you do is you use this and then you you use a bit of i'm trying to find the camera now uh you use your um left or uh, mix up a tiny little bit and then move that over the edge yeah just sort of paste it on the edge because then that, that brings out the, the water again then but guys there we go right i'm gonna call it not much more i can say let me get back to myself not much more i can say on that right okay you know what i mean um it, it, it is what it is actually you don't want to see me you want to see the model uh, it is what it is right okay i'm gonna leave that there today uh hopefully come back tomorrow i can feel the i feel it pushing against the the, the tape right but there's not a lot more i can do right yes you know what i mean um i think silk 
can't do static grass properly though. That, but Pete, let me know, mate, right? And I'll anything you need to know about static grass. Yeah, we're the leading company in the world for static grass. Anything you need to know, yeah, about it, like, let me know, dude, right? And I'll do a video. Message us privately if you want to, right? You know what I mean? Um, and I'll do a video on um, what you're possibly doing wrong and as to and how you fix it, right? Okay. Uh, yeah, thank you everybody for thank uh, for joining. Uh, I use use these class water pores, uh, loads and bubbles are, are rare. Yeah, t t again, look at Craig's uh, layout. I got him it. I love it. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's right up my street. It's military, right? You know what I mean. So he needs to do more. More. He needs to put more more videos out there just to show just to show it off because it's a stunning stunning one, right? Okay. Um, Go back, you know, share it all out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something. Uh, my man, it's enjoyable. as the first se se sessions all those years ago. Good night from the down under. Yeah, <laughs> Brian, thanks very much, mate. Again, it's always a pleasure you guys coming on. Uh, you coming on, mate. Lovely. Uh, uh, yeah, to subscribe. Yeah, subscribe to the uh, uh, newsletter. That's massive. Steve is a big driver on that one, right? And there's, there's good offers on there. There's new, new, uh, new product newses, or there's news from newses. <laughs> that's a new one <laughs> there's new product news is <laughs> yeah there's loads of stuff going on there right you know what I mean there's more dire there's more uh, I know ah uh, no no it's not no it's not it's a wet it's not I thought they had a patch it's not it's one that I put the cup it's not it's not a trick it's not it's not doing it uh, very very thank you very 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 much for watching yeah you know what I mean if you need any uh, any more tints uh, tints I can't speak any hints or tips, let me know, and we'll uh, we'll do it on Model and Marketing on the Wednesdays. Yeah, okay. Um, thank you very much, everybody, for uh, for for joining. Yeah, stay safe. 